So Bradford City have today confirmed their sixth signing of the 2023 summer transfer window, Daniel Oyegoke, Oyegoku, I'm not really too sure how you pronounce his name, but he joins on a season-long loan from Brentford B team. And in today's video, I will be bringing you guys my thoughts and opinions on this news. If you do go on to enjoy, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on this signing. MK Dons fans, if there's any watching today's video, let me know your thoughts down below. Brentford fans as well, if you've watched any of your B team's games, let me know what type of player we are getting. It's another right back. We now have five first team right backs at the football club and in the fans forum last night Mark Hughes said we would only be getting one or two max one or two more signings maximum and if this is one of them our squad is looking very light in some areas and we'll obviously get onto that later on in today's video so make sure to drop a like on there for me subscribe if you are new as well Let's get into it. So Bradford City tweeted today at 5 pm saying welcome to England under 20 international Daniel or you go okay? I'm gonna go with you go okay for the remainder of today's video who arrives on a season long loan from Brentford FC. The article does then read it City Secure or you go okay loan. Bradford City AFC is delighted to announce the signing of right back Daniel or you go okay on a season long loan from Premier League side Brentford. An England under 20 international or you go okay recently start, started all four games for the three Lions at the FIFA under 20 World Cup in Argentina prior to their last 16 elimination to eventual finalist Italy. Having started in Bayern it's academy, Barnet have got a very, very good academy. You see the amount of players that end up moving on to Peterborough United, like your Jack Taylor's ref from Mason Clark. So if he's coming from Barnet's Academy, that is only a positive sign. Are you go okay? Moved to Arsenal in 2017 and then Brentford in 2021. He's capped by England at under 16, under 17, under 18, under 19, and under 20 level, winning the UEFA European Under 19 Championship in 2022. The 20 year old made 18 appearances on loan at Skybet League One, MK Don's last season, I presume that should say Skybet League one side, MK Dons last season, before being recalled by Brentford and helping the West London outfits B side win the 22-23 Premier League Cup. He said, firstly, I want to thank the club for giving me this opportunity. It feels really good to have signed. I'm happy to be here and hopefully I can make my mark towards a positive season. I'm excited to get on the pitch as a Bradford City player and show the fans what I am capable of and work towards the goal the team has. When speaking to the gaffer, he wants to build on last season season we need to take it to the next level and I have hunger to succeed hopefully I can be a big part of that I like to think of myself as a fast and powerful right back I am good defensively and hopefully I can show people that when I speak to the gaffer there was nowhere else I wanted to go for me where I am right now is perfect and I want to make some, uh, I want to make some good memories, sorry. Bantam's boss, Mark Hughes, said we are pleased to be welcoming Dan to Bradford City as our squad continues to take shape ahead of 2022, uh, 2023-24. He's a dynamic fullback with a willingness to get forward who is showing a lot of promise at, uh, promise, promise at Brentford in the Premier League and impressing on the international stage at youth level with England. His loan spell at MK Dons last season gives him valuable experience in the EFL and his versatility and capabilities, both technically and physically, mean he will bring a lot to our side. We are pleased to have him with us for the season and are looking forward to seeing him in action. Oyogo K will be sponsored by Pickers Guild Financial Planning for the 2023-24 season. Obviously he is our first loan signing of the transfer window and he's obviously the first sign that we've made in general which means that we've had to do some negotiations with another club. So Brentford also tweeted at 5pm saying all the best at Daniel Oyogo K. Their article does then read Oyogo K makes Bradford loan move. Daniel Oyogo K joins Bradford City on a season long loan the defender starred during Brentford B's victorious 22-23 Premier League Cup campaign and also gained experience with League One MK Dons last term. Neil McFarlane says this is a brilliant step in Daniel's career. The article in full then says Daniel Oyogoke has joined Skybet League 2 side Bradford City on loan for the 2023-24 season. The England under-20 international will join his new teammates in time for their first pre-season fixture against Bury on the 8th of July. Mark Hughes' side finished 6th in League 2 last season and 
their campaign ended in defeat to Carlisle United over two legs in the playoff semi-final. Or you go okay, enjoyed a lone spell at MK Dons at the beginning of 2022-23 campaign, making 13 at League One appearances before being recalled in January. The 20-year-old was a key figure for the B team during the second half of the season with his impressive performances in the Brentford backline, helping the side to their Premier League Cup triumph. Oyugo Ke was recently named in the England squad for the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in Argentina and he started every match before his country's round of 16 exit to eventual runners-up Italy. Speaking about the lone move, B-team head coach Neil McFarlane said, I think this is a brilliant step in Daniel's career. He's going to a club who will most likely be challenging towards the top end of League 2 and we're hugely excited for him. To work under Mark Hughes, who has a lot of experience in management, will only help improve Daniel's game, hopefully adding his quality to the team will help Bradford go one step further next season. Obviously, first loan, we would anticipate that some of our loans will probably be towards the end of the campaign. You know, Ryan Spike said that we we're in dialogue with, I think, two clubs over potential loan players. Obviously, Brentford being one of them. We all know about how good Brentford's recruitment is and the way they develop young players. So, fingers crossed, we can be a part of of Oyugoki's development. So, like I said, I was anticipating this one to be a little bit later on in the transfer window, especially with it being alone. And he comes in and now provides some real competition for Brad Halliday on that right-hand side. Before we get into the current squad, though, let's get into Oyugoki's statistics from the 22-23 campaign. So as I've already mentioned a few times then, he spent the first half of last season on loan at MK Dons. And if we have a look at his statistics then in full, he played 13 matches for them, starting 10 of them, averaging 73 minutes per game. He got no goals and no assists, averaging 46.1 at touches per 90. He created no big chances, averaging 0.1 key passes per game with a 67% passing accuracy, 77% in his own half and 57% in the opposition half. He averaged a 0.9 long balls per 90, 26% of them have been successful. 0.7 chip passes per 90 with 24% of them being successful and 8% of his crosses were accurate as well. He kept no clean sheets in all the matches that he played with one interception per game, 1.1 tackles per game, 0.2 possession wins per game. He would actually never dribble past though um, in the whole of his time with MK Dons and he also averaged 1.9 at clearances per game as well. In terms of his duels and dribbles, he averages 0.5 at dribbles per 90, 29% of them have been successful, averaging 3.5 total duels per 90, 2.2 on the ground winning 50% of them and 1.3 in the air winning 38% of them. I'm not really too sure how that maths does work out but he committed 0.8 fouls per game and he was fouled on 0.7 occasions per game as well picking up two yellow cards so statistically not great. Looks really really poor. Can't defend, can't cross, not a great dribbler but he's come in and everyone seems to be ranting and raving about him so obviously I've never seen him play and I'm just going to have to observe judgment as I always do with any sign that does come in but statistically I know MK Dons were terrible last season and obviously that doesn't help at times when you're playing in a poor team but he looks really really poor. Like I say though I'll wait and observe judgment obviously we've seen quite a few players who've done poor other clubs come to Bradford City and done well or done well at other clubs, club, uh, other clubs sorry come to Bradford City and done really poorly so we we'll just have to wait and see every club is different and every transfer can always end up differently as well if we have a look then at how the current Bradford City squad is now lining up ahead of the 23-24 campaign now with Mark Hughes saying that last night we could only have two more signings in at maximum and this one coming in I'm I'm a little bit nervous to be honest with you I'm quite scared to be honest with you. It looks clearly to me like we're going to play a 3-5-2 next season. If one more signing is coming in, we've currently got two natural wingers at the football club, not including Bobby Poynton, who's obviously probably not going to get really too much of a look in. Jake Young looks set to leave, so if, say, we do bring another winger in and Jake Young leaves, that'll leave us with two natural first-team wingers in the whole squad. So it looks to me like we are going to play a 3-5-2. We still need a backup goalkeeper, a uh, third-choice goalkeeper, should I say. Hopefully, Heath Richardson is to sign on. Right back again, very similar to when Gilead signed yesterday. Right back is just a position I don't think we needed to improve in, to be honest with you. We had Halliday, Hendry, Cousin Dawson and Rowe as options and now are you go okay in there as well we've got five first team right backs we clearly don't need another right sided centre half we could do with a left footed centre back as back up to Kieran Kelly we need a first choice left back in my opinion no holding midfielders no box to box midfielders two first team right wingers obviously a left winger when Jake Young leaves and I would like personally another striker as well but I understand that maybe that one might be a little bit unrealistic overall then for me I would say statistically he doesn't look great but a lot of fans seem to be absolutely buzzing with this signing I think that 
probably means that surely at least one or two of our current right backs have got to move on. You can't go into a season with five first team right backs. I think Rose got to go out on loan. Finkels and Dawson, I just try and sell to be honest with you. And I think if we've got a Yagoki in or Yagoki, then you might as well just move Luke Kenjon. There's no real point him being with the football club, to be honest with you. And I think if Oyugoke plays a certain amount of games before January, I think that then will make it unlikely that he is then recalled by Brentford. But Halliday, for me, was unreal last season. He was our third best player, in my opinion, behind, obviously, Harry Lewis and Andy Cook. So to see another right-back come in is certainly interesting, but it maybe does give Halliday that little bit of a kick up the backside. I'm going to leave it there, though, for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could join it, 100 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you're new as well we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts on this signing Brentford fans MK Dons fans and even Bradford fans as well let me know down below your thoughts on our first loan signing of the 2023 summer transfer window thank you very much for watching today's video have a great rest of your day and I'll see you very soon for another one peace